welcome. I'm your host Aditi Singh and you're watching My India. India as the world's fastest growing economy with increasing political significance is enhancing global connections. The recent visit by Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim highlighted efforts to strengthen bilateral ties across various sectors and elevate India's role in the Indo-Pacific. With Malaysia set to chair ASEAN in 2025, both nations are committed to regional stability, economic integration and sustainable development. Here's the report. Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim's visit to India highlights both nations' commitment to deepening geopolitical, geostrategic, geoeconomic, and cultural cooperation. During talks between Prime Minister Modi and his Malaysian counterpart, Anwar bin Ibrahim in New Delhi, both countries upgraded their enhanced strategic partnership to a comprehensive strategic partnership. Prime Minister Modi emphasized the growing momentum in the partnership and the potential for further economic cooperation. The leaders agreed to strengthen ties in defense, fintech, and emerging technologies, with plans to integrate India's UPI with Malaysia's PayNet and conduct trade in the respective currencies, the rupee and ringgit. Modi also highlighted Malaysia's key role in ASEAN and the Indo-Pacific, pledging support for Malaysia's ASEAN chairmanship in 2025. आज हमने निर्णय लिया है कि हमारी साझेदारी को कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप के रूप में एलिवेट किया जाएगा हमारा मानना है कि आर्थिक सहयोग में अभी और बहुत पोटेंशियल है वी हैव इनिशिएटेड अ लॉट ऑफ न्यू प्रोग्राम्स एंड वी वुड होप दैट इंडियन कंपनीज विथ मलेशियन कंपनीज collaborate further in all fields uh, including the new challenging areas like energy transition and digitalization and also food uh, security and we did emphasize uh, the need to use our both our experience and expertise in the semiconductor India is undeniably playing a crucial role in promoting global peace stability and trade enhancement Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Poland and Ukraine amidst the ongoing conflict between Moscow and Kyiv sends a powerful signal to the international community. It underscores India's commitment to peace, dialogue, adherence to the UN Charter and the principles of sovereignty and territorial integrity of nations. Prime Minister Modi's visit to Poland highlighted India's intent to strengthen bilateral relations, focusing on trade, investment, and technological collaboration. As a key EU member, Poland offers India significant economic and geopolitical leverage in Europe. Prime Minister Modi held bilateral talks with Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk in Warsaw, exploring ways to expand cooperation in defense and security, trade and investment, and digitalization. Chcemy wzrostu wymiany handlowej między Polską a Indiami i to w bardzo różnych wymiarach. Nieprzypadkowo rozmawialiśmy o intensyfikacji naszej współpracy, jeśli chodzi o przemysły obronne. Mamy tutaj bardzo wiele wspólnych możliwości takiej autentycznej synergii. Jesteśmy gotowi jako Polska uczestniczyć w modernizacji sprzętu wojskowego. Mamy ku temu kwalifikacje firmy, możliwości technologiczne. Cieszę się także na tę ofertę współpracy, bliskiej współpracy, nie tylko w przemyśle obronnym, ale także w przemyśle obronnym, jeśli chodzi o najnowocześniejsze technologie. Indie są tutaj absolutnie liderem na świecie, jeśli chodzi o sztuczną inteligencję, o wykorzystywanie tych najnowocześniejszych efektów. Prior to his visit to Kyiv, Prime Minister Modi in Warsaw expressed India's readiness to assist in resolving conflicts in Ukraine and West Asia in consultation with friendly nations. Ukraine and Pashtun Asia are going on in the world. We all have 
गहरी चिंता का विषय है भारत का यह दृढ़ विश्वास है कि किसी भी समस्या का समाधान रणभूमि में नहीं हो सकता किसी भी संकट में मासूम लोगों की जान की हानि पूरी मानवता के लिए सबसे बड़ी चुनौती बन गई है हम शांति और स्थिरता की जल्द से जल्द बहाली के लिए डायलॉग और डिप्लोमेसी का समर्थन करते हैं इसके लिए भारत अपने मित्र देशों के साथ मिलकर हर संभव सहयोग देने के लिए तैयार During his historic visit to Kiev, the first by an Indian prime minister since Ukraine's independence in 1991, Prime Minister Modi held talks with Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to seek a negotiated resolution to the Russia-Ukraine conflict. New Delhi's efforts to bring the world closer together and mediate ongoing conflicts are widely appreciated. India's logistics sector is undergoing a significant transformation driven by government policies, technological advancements and a burgeoning e-commerce market. Traditional players are adopting new technologies and innovations like drones are contributing to the development of a world-class logistics network. Here's a closer look. India's growing economy is fueling rapid expansion in the logistics industry, driven by increasing demand, government support, and technological progress. This momentum is establishing India as a major player in global logistics. DTDC, a leading integrated express logistics provider, has revolutionized goods movement, particularly during peak festival seasons, by utilizing multiple channels and riders for seamless delivery. While manpower remains crucial, technology plays an essential role in their operations. The combination of innovation and strategic expansion has positioned DTDC and other Indian firms as leaders in the rapidly growing logistics sector. We have small shipments, but its count is very high. In that case, we have some channels of our own channel partners, we have some channels of our own partners. We have some channels of our own channel पार्टनर को यूज करते हैं उसके बाद में हमारी खुद की बाइक राइडर होती हैं इसके अलावा कंपनी ने हमारे को ये टूल दिया है कि आप बाइक राइडर हायर कर सकते हैं एक या दो या तीन दिन के लिए तो आपने एक पार्सल रखना है जो स्कैनर राउटिंग लेवल है ना जो बार कोड है उसको पढ़ेगा स्टडी करेगा और जो स्टेशन पर जिसका डेस्टिनेशन पर उसको जाना है उसी में जाके वो गिरेगा उसी हिसाब से उसका बैग बनेगा या गाड़ी में लोड होगा और आज हमारी जो सर्विस है हम ये कह लो कि नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट हम डिलीवरी कर रहे हैं While private companies have significantly transformed India's logistics sector, government initiatives like the PM Gati Shakti scheme are also vital. Launched in 2021, the National Master Plan for Multimodal Connectivity aims to improve infrastructure across economic zones. Following a 2% contraction in financial year 2021, the Indian logistics market rebounded with 14% growth in financial year 2022 reaching 435 billion. Ernst & Young projects the industry will expand to 591 billion by financial year 2027, as India aims for a $5.5 trillion economy by 2027. Robust logistics infrastructure will be critical to driving this growth. Uh, as you would be aware, we are uh, looking for a $5.5 trillion uh, economy by 2027 and about upwards of about $30 trillion economy by 2047 or so. So uh, the logistics sector, which contributes about 14 odd percent to the GDP currently, uh, is, is, isn't, uh, is going to be the major booster and the driver for the growth for, for the country. And uh, in the logistic performance index, where we have jumped six uh, spaces from the previous report of 44 to 38 now, uh, we are intending to, the government is intending to uh, reach in top 25 and cut down on the logistic wastage and the logistic cost and bring down to somewhere close to about 6-8% of the GDP in the times to come. Resilient and efficient logistics infrastructure in the country. That means good transportation network, whether it is railways, whether it is aviation, highways, ports, waterways and so on. 
and second part is first mile and last mile delivery right because ultimately logistics impacts both the domestic competitiveness as well as the export sector As the logistics sector evolves, technology is playing an increasingly vital role. A notable development is the use of drones, with companies like Bonvi Aero leading the way. Bonvi's drones, capable of carrying up to 50 kilograms, can be customized for various operations, including military and agricultural uses. These drones are set to revolutionize last mile delivery, particularly in remote and hard to reach areas of India. We are building in the space of uh, logistic aerial vehicles or you can call it like simply logistic drones. This is like a 50 kg platforms which are currently used by the Indian Defence for hilly area logistic transports. The government has implemented several measures targeting India's logistics and supply chain industry. In 2022, the National Logistics Policy was launched to streamline logistics, enhance MSME competitiveness, and reduce costs. Complemented by the Logistics Efficiency Enhancement Program, this policy focuses on improving freight transport efficiency. Additional measures include forming an EXIM logistics group, developing port connectivity, and utilizing the Logistics Data Bank app to enhance cargo monitoring and reduce supply chain waste. We now take you to Nampali in Hyderabad, where the Darga of Hazrat Shah Kamosh stands as a testament to architectural brilliance and communal unity. Dedicated to the revered Sufi saint, the Dargah captivates visitors with its grandeur and fosters harmony among diverse communities. It serves as a space for mutual respect and understanding, embodying the saint's teachings of unity and peace. Amidst the dynamic landscape of Hyderabad's Nampali district, lies the Dargah of Hazrat Shah Khamosh, a beacon of the city's profound culture and spiritual legacy. This revered shrine is a powerful emblem of unity, attracting a diverse array of worshippers who seek solace, blessings and spiritual enlightenment, showcasing a legacy that transcends religious confines. Known for his message of love, peace and inclusivity, Hazrat Shah Khamosh's teachings continue to inspire individuals from diverse religious backgrounds. जैसे कि हिंदू है मुस्लिम है सिख है ईसाई है और कोई भी ऐसे हां यहां पे आते हैं बारगा में ज्यारत करते हैं और कुछ जिसको जो खामोश बाबा देते हैं वो आता है करते रहते हैं और दुआएं देते हैं और दुआएं लेके चले जाते हैं दी दरगाह सर्व्स एज अ सिरीन सेंचुरी वेयर पीपल ऑफ वेरियस फेथ्स कम टुगेदर ट्रांसेंडिंग रिलीजियस डिफरेंसेस it is not only a place of worship, but also a center for communal interaction where visitors seek blessings, offer prayers and participate in spiritual activities. The annual Urs, which commemorates the saint's death anniversary, witnesses a remarkable convergence of people from different communities engaging in joint celebrations and spiritual practices. ये क्या है बोले तो बहुत बड़ी चीज क्या है बोले तो यकीदा होना जो यकीदे से आता उन शिफा फरमा के जरूर जाता The architectural elegance of the Dargah with its intricate designs and tranquil ambience adds to its appeal as a place of unity Here the silence and reverence of the space foster a sense of collective peace and mutual respect The Dargah of Hazrat Shah Khamosh stands as a living testament to Hyderabad's commitment to fostering communal harmony and bridging cultural divides. Now let's delve into World in Focus, featuring the latest global developments and events shaping our world. On August 28, thousands gathered in Bunol, Spain for the iconic La Tomatina festival where participants hurled tomatoes at one another in a massive food fight. 
Seven trucks delivered 120 tons of ripe tomatoes to the town streets as revelers dressed in white playfully tossed them, even finding moments for romance amidst the chaos. Despite Binol's small size, over 22,000 visitors from around the world joined in the festivities. La Tomatina began in 1945 from a local altercation and though briefly banned under Franco's dictatorship, has since become a beloved tradition attracting both locals and international tourists. Gabriel Ota, dressed as Jin Sakai from the action game Ghost of Tsushima, won the Best Costume Award at Zimbabwe's Ota Kukon Festival, celebrating Japanese pop culture. Ota, a 28-year-old artist and musician, spent a month crafting his samurai outfit from cardboard and recycled materials. Despite anime culture being relatively small in Zimbabwe, the event drew a hundred-strong audience in Harare. Festival director Archie Moyo hopes to expand the community and promote anime locally. Comic book artist Bill Masuku emphasizes the importance of telling African stories, planning to create comics in Shona to bring authenticity to local narratives. Gaya city in Bihar, celebrated for its rich cultural heritage, is renowned worldwide for its craftsmanship. The artisans here don't just carve wood and stone, they breathe life into them. Let's explore how Gaya's intricate stone and wood crafts preserve ancestral legacies and showcase the skills, traditions and stories behind these age-old practices. Gaya city is renowned for its spirituality, devotion and rich history, as well as its remarkable craftsmanship. The craft pieces that adorn Gaia's streets reflect the region's artistic prowess, dating back to the Maurya dynasty under Ashoka, when Bihar gained recognition for its artistic beauty and durable creations. Inspired by local artisans, Yadunandan Sharma has been practicing woodcraft in Gaia since 2002. Today, he and his family not only create intricate toys, effigies, and artistic idols, but also train others in this traditional art form, preserving the region's rich heritage. Temple का जो है कि इस तलाव में जो है बैठे हुए बुद्ध और उन्हीं का जो है कि प्रतिमा जो है कि बना रहा हूँ और ये जो है सखुए की लकड़ी में है जो लाल लाल सखुआ कहते हैं इसको कपूर लकड़ी कहा जाता है और ये हार्ड होती है इसका बनने में तो सर इसका जो है कि अगर जो लगातार अगर जो इसमें काम किया जाए तो दो से तीन दिन में फाइनल हो जाएगा लेकिन लगातार काम इसमें हो नहीं पाता है इसलिए कि लगातार कर नहीं सकते हैं इसके लिए छोड़ छोड़ के करना पड़ता है तो इसका टाइम नहीं पाँच चार पाँच दिन लग जाता है दूसरी मूर्ति सर ये जो है एक शीशम का लकड़ी का है जो काला शीशम जो है ये इस ये भी हार्ड लकड़ी है इसको बनाने के जो है कि आठ दिन आठ दिन का टाइम लगता है और लगातार नहीं बना पाइएगा लगातार बनता नहीं है इसको जरा सा छोड़ना पड़ता है उसके बाद फिर ध्यान करना पड़ता है तब ये बनता है क्राफ्टिंग वुड एंड स्टाफ डिमेंड्स रियल डेडिकेशन फ्रॉम इंट्रिकेट पैटर्न्स टू शेपिंग देम इनटू एसेंशियल्स एंड डेकोर आर्टिजंस पोर देयर स्किल इनटू एवरी पीस सम क्रिएशंस आर सो डेलिकेट दैट इवन अ माइनर स्क्रैच कैन रूम डेज ऑफ हार्ड वर्क सो दे आर ऑफन कंप्लीटेड इन सॉलिट्यूड में चुनौतियां हैं लगन से करना पड़ता है बहुत ध्यान से करना पड़ता है ध्यान देना पड़ता है जरा सा भी कहीं पर अगर जो टूट गया कहीं पर खोच हो गया तो वे मूर्ति जो है कि बेकार हो जाता है इसके लिए जो है कि एकदम एकांत किस जगह चाहिए और अक्सर सर हमने जो है कि भोर में और रात में ही जो है कि फिनिशिंग काम करते हैं और मेरा ये जगह है जब एकांत मिलता है तो यहाँ जास्ती काम करते हैं गया स्टोन क्राफ्ट इज ऑल्सो रिनाउंड फॉर इट्स प्रसिशन The city boasts numerous stone structures, including the UNESCO World Heritage Mahabodhi Temple, and stone carvers from South Central Bihar are celebrated for transforming raw stones into exquisite sculptures and architectural elements. 
Artisans in Gaia City have played a crucial role in preserving the city's spiritual and religious heritage by restoring and developing many historical monuments. Patarkati Village in Gaia District is a living testament to this ancient stone craft, with the craft being integral to many households. Villagers skillfully design and create stones into items for utility, decor, and worship. जो पुराने से लेकर के इसमें काम कर रहे हैं तो पहले बहुत कम चलता था अब चल रहा बहुत ज़्यादा हो गया है अब पूरे गांव बना रहा है इस बाहर से नथी लाता है स्टोर पत्थर ला कर के यहाँ पे बिक्री होता है कुछ लोग एक दो व्यक्ति है जो थोक लाता है वहाँ से और यहाँ पे खरीद करके खुद को बनाता है कारीगर भी बनाता है और कुछ बनवा करके भी ले जाते हैं Artisans must have keen eyes to select stones with the right texture and durability. The process involves outlining the shape, removing excess stone, and sculpting with precision to create the final product. These creations are not only popular locally, but also in demand across India and beyond. Here, for example, Hanuman Ji, Durga Ji, Sibling, I mean, whatever is there, all the murtis are made. Some people make statues, some people make statues. वही बन सा बनारस माल जाता है जैसे शिव शिव परिवार हो गया गणेश हो गया कार्तिक हो गया पार्वती हो गया लक्ष्मी जी हो गए हनुमान जी हो गए ये आपको छोटे छोटे शिवलिंग हो गए नंदी भगवान हो गए बनारस में जाता है और यही चीज़ सेम तो आपको जैसे अयोध्या में जाता है जैसे वहाँ राम जी होंगे सीता जी हो गए लक्ष्मण जी हो हनुमान जी हो गए शिव परिवार हो गए पर विष्णु लक्ष्मी और ये आपको कैसे बोल सकते हैं भैरव शीतला ये सब वहाँ पर माल हम लोग सप्लाई करते हैं बाकी जो डिमांड होता है पार्टी का उसका समलोग मूर्ति देते हैं। The stone and wood crafts of Gaya are more than artistic practices. They are a living heritage that reflects the region's history, culture, and spirituality. Robotics is advancing rapidly across the globe, and India is making significant strides in this field. Numerous Indian startups and industries are at the forefront of innovations in robotics. In Odisha, a company is setting up labs dedicated to robotics education where children are actively learning to build and program robots. Now, this initiative is not only fostering a deeper understanding of robotics among young learners, but also inspiring the next generation of engineers and technologists in the region. At ODM Global School in Bhubaneswar city of Arisha, students are learning robotics alongside their regular subjects. Through a partnership with SAC Robotics, the school has established a robotics lab, where founder Sakya Singha Mahapatra personally teaches students how to build robots. One ninth grade student, Sohan Tripathi, has designed a safety helmet for construction workers that uses sensors to detect falling objects and emit a warning beep. It is helped to uh, save the life of construction uh, peoples. Uh, when many peoples are uh, dying in falling a heavy object. That's why me and with my group, a group of friends are making this helmet which can save our hum save our people's life like uh, i am i am adding some sensors like arduino and ultrasonic and jumper wires and with batteries like sohan tripathi Many students in this lab attend daily robotics classes and aspire to contribute to significant innovations in the future. This is a very good school for learning robotics, AI and computers. Over here I joined at class 8 and this since then I have a love for this robotics lab. Over here, I got to learn a lot of uh, information about different microcontrollers, sensors and effectors. Uh, I have made a few robots like Bluetooth control robot, my, uh, ESP th using ESP32, a Wi-Fi control robot. Mm -hmm. 
The school principal, Shalendra Kumari, emphasizes the importance of keeping children connected with technological advancements as the world rapidly evolves. As you know, the world is changing. Technology is changing at a very, very advanced rate. It's very important we equip our children with today's changing world. So to equip our children in today's changing world, it's important we give a lot of exposure to the student. To give exposure of this kind to the student, we associated ourselves with SAC Robotics. We found a lot of good name of SAC Robotics in the market and then we collaborated. They are giving a lot of opportunities to the children. Our children are getting the chance to uh, code the program. They are getting opportunities to learn multiple dimensions, how robots are being milled, what are the different types of robots. Our parents are very, very happy. Our children are having amazing experience with these robotic classes. Sakya Singha Mahapatra, founder of SAC Robotics, aims to bring affordable robotics labs to every household, allowing students to engage with robotics from an early age and pursue future careers in this field. His efforts have earned him numerous awards. So the entire goal of my life, you know, uh, to make India the next robotic capital. I created a movement in the society. I went to the schools, colleges after starting this company, SAC Robotics Lab, and I have offered numerous number of robotic workshops. I have conducted and trained more than one lakh kids directly, be it in the schools, be it in the higher education. You talk, you name it, any college in Chennai, in South India, be it Nagar Coil, be it Coimbatore, you can talk about Barodra, you can talk about Tripura, you can talk about, you know, uh, Uttarakhand. So across the country, I went and taught people how to ro make robots. India is advancing rapidly in robotics, with numerous startups and factories setting new benchmarks in the field. Startups like SAC Robotics are crucial in developing students' skills, ensuring future generations drive innovation and contribute to making India a leader in robotics. Odisha's tech revolution includes new robotics labs for kids, nurturing young enthusiasts and positioning the region as a future robotics hub in India. And with that, it's a wrap on today's episode of My India. But we will see you next week at the same time. Till then, goodbye and take care.